Fredboro, address 6198, and what we have here is a water heater installed by a different plumber, not Swift Plumbers, and what I just wanted to review here and what I told the customer is what they did wrong when they installed this water heater is number one, shark bites are known to leak. We never use them. Uh, you put on sweat adapters and then you can change it over to CPVC or PEX, whichever you'd like. Uh, that's a known fact. Uh, experienced people would know that. Not against code, but in no way good plumbing. Uh, another thing is you need a thermal expansion tank or device on a water heater. As you can see, if I push on this, that's just plain stupidity to put that kind of weight on a PVC pipe. It's an accident waiting to happen. It just cracks and breaks and water all over the place. Uh, what you do instead here is you use a thermal expansion device valve and you route it down below. That's the appropriate way to do that and not cause a problem on someone. Now we'll look at the code violation. Code violation right here is we are on the step up from the garage and when you're on the same level as the house as this water heater is, you must put a pan underneath it and then you must route the drain line down to this area so that if the water heater does go out that it will drain onto the garage floor instead of back that way and into the house. So that is the problems with this water heater. We're actually here to do a leak detection service. This is video one for that. We've got water showing up here. We're going to use our equipment and locate exactly where the leak is. But I just wanted to go over the code violations and what was done wrong here. Electrical was done correctly. Electrical doesn't need a shutoff switch because the electrical box is located right here in the garage. Mm -hmm. So that is done correctly. The rest of it uh, is either done uh, not to code or uh, questionable code. Uh, just not using your head at all or doing a good plumbing work. Fred Burrow, Swift Plumbers, Video 1.